everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be filled of mini summer activities. We actually created a summer bucket list just because we wanted to really embody the season of summer. I think that making a bucket list of all the things that you really want to do in a season is a really great way to make sure that you're truly living in the moment. I feel like as you get older, the seasons just kind of pass like that and it's really disheartening whenever a season ends and you're like, Cats are fighting. Hey, talking to my friends here. It's really disheartening whenever you get to the end of the season and you realize you didn't do anything that you would do in that season. So we are not letting that happen to us. And today we're gonna check off a few things on our list. Today's summer agenda is going to be going to the sunflower fields, which we try to do every single year. And we saw them in full bloom the other day. So I'm very excited to go. It's a part of a plantation that is here in town, but they just had a new roadside market open up with all of the fresh produce. So we're definitely gonna check that out as well. I feel like going to the sunflower fields and going to a farmer's market are really great ways to enjoy the summertime. And we would really love to tie dye some shirts. I've never tie dyed anything before, so we may get up to that later. But before we do anything at all, I am very hungry. My protein shake has worn off at this point, so I'm very, very looking forward to getting something good to eat before we head out into the sun. Let's go ahead and let's go get some lunch. lunch I ended up getting verde which is a salad place here and it is so so good I got the um, what was it called oh give give peach a chance salad I think but it was like peaches goat cheese pecans um, I added chicken and it's just one of my favorite salads and they use local peaches so I obviously had to get that but Cooper was not feeling a salad so he went to McAllister's and just sat inside and ate our lunch and now we're headed to the sunflower fields it's very spotty with clouds so I'm hoping the sun will peek out while we're there but either way I'm just excited to go tell we are officially at the sunflower fields and I'm so excited they're so pretty there's so many it's insane and then this is the new building right here the new roadside market so we'll make sure to check out all the produce and everything before we head out but right now we're gonna frolic in the sunflower fields and just enjoy all of the blooms that they work so hard on fertilizing and just growing so that we can enjoy them in the summer and luckily the rain has held out the sun is peeking through all the clouds, so it is the perfect day to be out here. We have our basket and then some clippers inside, so we'll make sure to clip some really pretty ones to take home. Luckily this year they have these little dirt paths, so it's way easier. There was so much dirt last year, and then this is where the pumpkin patch is every fall. We'll be there in just a couple months.
such a blast and we were able to get two really cute sunflowers. I'm trying really hard to not like bend their petals or anything before we get home and I, I don't know, they're just so fragile. I'm scared I'm gonna mess them up, but that is definitely a quintessential summer activity, I would say. It was just so cool to see all the butterflies and so many bees. It's a great thing to see bees because you always hear that they're going extinct. So anytime I see bees, that is a good sign. And there was even a couple moths and I did spot a locust. So it's just a really fun summer activity to get you to see some really cool insect wildlife. Now we're actually heading to a Hobby Lobby because we're going to tie-dye some things. I don't know if I want to do a sweatshirt or just a t-shirt or what. I know you talked about doing a bag. Cooper talked about possibly tie-dyeing a bag. Um, I don't know yet, but we're going to pick up the tie-dye and I think we're going to do like pastel. I've never tie-dyed anything ever. I've always had like teachers do it for me or like friends' parents do it for me. So this will be a very interesting task. Have you ever had anyone? Have you tie-dyed anything? Nope. Yeah, so this will be interesting, but we're gonna head into Hobby Lobby to grab our tie-dye. Oh boy. It's almost that time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do long sleeve. Want it oversized. Hmm, that's a large. Is that too big? Let's see. I don't think so. tie-dye these shirts if I'm being completely honest. Like I said, I've never tie-dyed anything before, so I really don't know how this is gonna go. We're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> I got my iced coffee. Our sunflowers are in some water, so hopefully we can keep them alive for as long as possible because they are so pretty. We only cut one last year, but we decided to go ahead and cut two this year, and I just, I think it worked out really well, and they look really good in the kitchen. It's just such a fun summer activity. I just thoroughly enjoyed it so, so much, and just yearly events like that that allow you to romanticize whatever season that it is are just, they make me so happy. I don't know, I just look forward to them every single year. The sunflowers were just absolutely beautiful this year but we went to Hobby Lobby as you saw and we decided that we were going to do like pastel dye or pastel colors and this was the last one that they had and apparently it has everything that we need in there so they have gloves rubber bands and all the things and apparently like a guidebook I guess with different designs yeah so it's like a lavender color lilac blush sky and mint so and it was I think it was actually cheaper than 15 I think she rang it up for cheaper I don't remember but yeah I like this kit a lot and the colors so and as far as the shirt, I ended up getting the um, the large of the long sleeve white t-shirt. It's a little bit too long, but it's fine. I can just wear it with like the biker shorts I always wear. And I just wanted an oversized long sleeve shirt because while it is summer, no matter what season that it is, I'm always, <laughs> I always have sleeves as you can see. Like once I get inside, the AC is just too much for me to handle, so. I wanted to make sure I got some sleeves because I wanted to wear it whenever I wanted and I can wear it with shorts, leggings, pajama as pajamas. I mean, there's just endless possibilities for me in a long sleeve shirt. So that's why we went with long sleeve, but we'll see how it comes out. Again, I have not done this before. So 
you're going to be witnessing my very first attempt at ever tie-dyeing anything. <laughs> and Cooper ended up getting just like a white t-shirt that he can wear in the summertime. And yeah, so let's go ahead and let's get set up. We actually cut, where is it? So we cut a trash bag open <laughs> just to have as like a placemat basically for the bar area just to like protect the countertops. We're gonna do it right over here in the kitchen. Something to catch the mess. We use it for pumpkin cutting, so can use it for tie-dye too, right? <laughs> so I think the first thing we do, let's see. Oops. Okay, so one step tie-dye guide, cool. Okay, yeah, so it tells you like different, different designs. Oh, oh there's more. I kind of wanted to use like every single color. Anyway, we'll pick a design from there. And then I think you just fill these with water and shake it up from what I understand. Yeah, so we fill it to the line right there. It's focusing on me, not that, there we go. So you fill it to the line right here, shake it up, rubber bands, some gloves. All right. Well, the shirt's not gonna die itself, so. Let's get to it. <laughs> so I got nervous with the white shirt and I decided to change into a black shirt because I just, I'm not risking that. It's just, I'm not feeling that today. But we're gonna go ahead and fill the dye bottles with water. I don't know if we should wet these first. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I don't know how this is gonna come out. So <sighs> I guess we should just jump in. mine's gonna come out. I went kind of crazy and I wanted to use every single color. I don't know why I decided. I kind of realized after I was adding the darker colors, I'm like, wait, why am I doing this? But it was too late at that point. We'll just see how it comes out. The dark blue kept leaving like, it like leaked. So left little blue droplets on the trash bag I was using. So if I flipped the shirt, it like got on my pastel colors. So anyway, we'll see how that comes out. I know tie-dye is like just kind of random and like, it's okay to have it imperfect, so we'll see what happens. It's currently almost five o'clock and it's said to let it sit for six to eight hours. So that'll be washing it at like midnight tonight. So if I'm up, we will do that. If not, we'll do a little wash and dry in the morning. So we have them on the counter right here. This is Cooper's, 
that is mine and it's said to wrap them in plastic we don't have anything else that's plastic except like grocery bags so we just put them in the grocery bags and like layered the trash bags and paper towels underneath so that we don't leak anything onto the counter because that would be very unfortunate <laughs> but that is where we are at the moment so after they are done sitting we'll go ahead and rinse them out get them on a wash and dry load and we will see how our designs came out <laughs> stay up until midnight to rinse out all the extra dye and then we tossed it in the washing machine and put it on a heavy load and then I just tossed it in the dryer this morning when I woke up to get coffee but I love the way that they came out let me grab them and I'll show you I was pleasantly surprised because like I said I was very upset when I put the dark colors on because I wanted like a, a pastel tie-dyed look but honestly it kind of ended up blending nicely so this is how it came out Definitely more white was left in the shirt than what I was going for, but I don't hate it. The sleeves came out really cool. I actually think the sleeves are the reason why there's more white on the shirt because there's more fabric around it. So I think I'm kind of thinking that's what happened, but it came out really nice. Very light, still pastel, and honestly the blue and the darker purple, they work with the pastels after I see it all together. So. I'm very happy with it and I will try it on in just a second, but I figured I'd show you Cooper's too. I love the colors that he chose. They look so good. His swirl is like perfect. I don't know how he did it, <laughs> but yeah. This is definitely a really fun little summer activity. It's just something different to do. We've Neither one of us have ever tie-dyed anything before. And it was just a really fun thing to do together and also get some really cool shirts out of it that we've added our own personal touches to. But I'm gonna try mine on. I think it's safe to say that our first mission of tie-dyeing was a success. I actually really like it. It's still a little damp, so it has a little bit of wrinkles in there, but I think overall it came out really nice. So I think I'm actually gonna go toss it back in the dryer just to get it a little bit more dry. It's just a tad bit damp. Overall, I'm very, very happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. I really hope that this inspired you to do some fun seasonal activities and just really live in the moment and just romanticize the life that you have. Even though some days are hard and life can be a struggle at times, it's really important to just create happy moments and memories where we can. That's the whole point of the summer bucket list. It has definitely helped us do that. But I really hope you got some inspiration and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!